Bro, it's saying your account's been banned. So that's what? That's real. Dude, chat, no way, bro. No way. You can't be for real right now. What's going on guys, your boy Sada coming back with another video and today's video I want to explain the whole situation that happened between Rowdy Rogan and this publicity stunt that he pulled with his parents. Now if you guys don't know what happened a couple days ago, um, Rowdy Rogan was supposedly banned from Activision and from playing Warzone because of term of a lot of people were thinking about the term of services and stuff, uh, but Obviously, that wasn't the case. Um, he was never banned. Um, the very last clip I'm going to show you guys in this video was his parents explaining to Activision, We're so sorry for all the backlash that you guys got. And uh, to me, as a parent, saying that to, like, Call of Duty and Activision for getting backlash over this fake stunt to get yourself into Phase 5. And if you don't know what Phase 5 is... It's a competition where they pick um, so, uh, a good streamer or gamer and they put them in FaZe Clan after uh, they compete with thousands and thousands of people to win the top spot to get into FaZe Clan. So basically what I'm trying to say is what they were supposed to do in the challenge that FaZe gave them was make a video go viral. Now, here's the thing with the backlash stuff. When you make something go viral, but and then you're taking on uh, people that are going to give Activision and Call of Duty the most backlash for your stupidity, and then you're going to sit here and tell us, you know, we're so sorry uh, that, you know, for all the backlash, I just feel like as a parent, like, I don't know. I just... How do you guys feel? Because to me, that just seems like weird. You know what I mean? To sit there and tell somebody after they just got backlashed for a couple days with a bunch of people bombarding them saying free Rogan on Twitter. You have the audacity to make a video coming out saying we, we apologize for all the crap you're getting. But, you know, we still went viral. Uh, according to what I've been hearing, too, as well, they did end up getting... Uh, Rogan's Rowdy Rogan's TikTok band as a uh, you know for doing this whole stunt and uh, I just I don't know how I feel about this man um, this is why I would never join like FaZe Clan as an organization I'd rather that's why I tell a lot of people like if I ever had to choose an organization if I ever became like that person to pick the own like it's not even about the money like they gave me a contract and they're like yo we want we want to sign you. I'd have to be a hundred thieves, NRG, or uh, TSM off the bat. I don't think I would ever be um, able to, um, you know, affiliate myself with the Phase Clan because of all the stuff that goes on in, in the media that's controversial with, you know, the whole org as a whole. So. That's my take on this whole situation. Let me know in the comments down below too if you guys heard about this as well. And how do you feel as a parent? Would you put your kid in this situation uh, just so you can get more publicity uh, towards your channel? Um, I get it. If your kid's good, you know, support your kid and you know their goals and dreams and stuff. But how do you guys feel as like parents? I want to ask you guys because I don't have kids. But like I said, as a parent, I don't want my six-year-old um out there in social media and he has no clue what's going on obviously he just knows it's going viral and you know i just feel like this whole publicity stunt was kind of like you know cha-ching money symbols in the parents eyes rather than focusing on uh their kid basically obviously they want to get their kid into phase clam i get that but i feel like in the back of my mind I feel like this whole stunt was, you know, something to do with some money. But yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and turn notifications. And enjoy these clips that I ended up pulling from their apology video coming out. 
saying that this whole thing was a stunt. In case you guys missed it, just last night on stream, he supposedly was actually banned on Warzone. Free Rogan? Yeah, I saw that, bro. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he should have been banned. Are you serious? No way. Oh, Let me know how uh, the progress of Rogan's account is if you guys need help. No way they banned the little guy? No way he got banned. Those guys won like. The final step of which he has made the Phase 5 top 20 list. The final step for all of these players and creators and streamers is to make a video go viral. Let's read it. Your first challenge is going to run for the next five days. We want you to make one post to go viral. Do you know what viral is? What What do you goes, think viral is? It goes crazy quick. It goes crazy quick. And what type of videos do you think would go crazy quick? I mean, we had you playing with swag and on Twitter, that went viral. That went crazy back in April. So let's think of a good viral idea. Now that you know what viral is, what's your viral idea? Let's think about it. Uh, I think being banned. Like banned? Jarvis. Yeah. Like Faze Jarvis? Yeah. Oh, people are gonna go nuts. Yeah, like one million views, like two. Th Gotta be a mistake. Gotta be a mistake. Wanna go see your mom real quick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go tell him to shut down the stream. I think his account just got banned. Oh, shut down the stream. Huh? Shut down the stream. How's your hand feeling? <laughs> My hand's fine. <laughs> I could probably only do that one more time though. I'm going to send tank two right now to the editors. Yo, it's going to go crazy. Even just the first take, the editors felt like it was real and they were like, my nerves are going crazy and I knew it was fake. Like he said that the video actually had him scared. Rogan's doing pretty good. Editing the mouse over top of it is definitely perfect. Working with the team. Get <laughs> Hashtag free Rogan. Get ready to end stream. Hashtag free Rogan. Is it gonna work though? We gotta get, yo, we gotta get this to go crazy on Twitter. We gotta get it to go crazy on Twitter. Rogan. Hopefully people do this. Bro, no way, no. We're going to get it back for sure. It's going to be okay. My mom says, what the heck happened? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> grandma doesn't even know what happened. No one knows. Poor grandma. I found where Apex hid the last candy cane. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't touch him. You named your elf Apex? Because he's so short. Because what? So short. Hi. <laughs> You're not even nice, man. I call your auntie and I'm like, what happened to my boy? What happened? His dad's comforting him. We tricked you. We, we actually got kicked. I can play Warzone still. So we thought it would be best if you guys heard from us of what we were expecting from this viral video. When FaZe told us, we had to make a viral video. These last 24 hours have been absolutely crazy. First off, the support from the community has been nothing, nothing short of amazing. When we hit that, that tweet button to send that tweet out, I had no idea what to expect. The support that we've received from you guys has been phenomenal. When we explained viral to Rogan, the only way we could explain it was to show him YouTube videos he's seen that have done amazing have popped off you know we showed him his swag clip um we ran through the ideas of playing with swag again of playing with a big player but it's like we've been there we've done that everyone's gonna expect us to do that as you guys know rogan is six years old and it's been rogan's dream to make face i didn't even know who phase was a year and a half ago i'm a fan of phase now because how they have treated my son rogan loves jarvis phase jarvis so this was a very fun thing for rogan to do it was a whole family fun process. It wasn't serious. It was very fun for us. So we decided to submit for phase five. We found out that there was over 210,000 submissions for this phase five challenge. We made top 100 and we were completely blown away. We made top 20 and it's now realistic that we are this close to getting Rogan to where he wants to go. We're doing everything we can to absolutely do that. When you see Rogan, a lot of people have their thoughts about it yeah, he can play the game or it's not respected yet. The world isn't ready for young gamers like they are like young sports, like young football players, young golfers, anything like that. We're not there yet. That's what we keep hearing. We're not there yet. The, the world's not there yet. After this went viral and we've seen all the amazing support, the positivity outweighs the negative. So if anything, this is telling FaZe, FaZe, 
They are ready. Let's do this. The world supports Rogan and let's open this new gate for young gamers. We had a few ideas come up on what we could do for going viral. And there was just one idea that jumped off the page that kept coming back around and everybody kept talking about. And it didn't involve us relying on anybody else. It didn't involve us traveling. And so we decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on it. I know, I absolutely know that there are some people that aren't gonna be happy when they find out that this whole thing was a stunt for this phase five challenge. Activision, we thank you. We're sorry for all the backlash you guys got, but we appreciate you. And my son loves your games. We hope you can forgive us and our fans. We hope you can forgive us and continue to support Rowdy Rogan. He's going to be around for a long time. We are not going anywhere. As we appreciate your support, I also don't want to bring any more negativity towards them. Activision has done nothing wrong. Rogan's account is still fine. Yo guys, let's go play some rules of free Rally Rogan. I free like, comment, share, subscribe channel. We on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and FaceApp, baby.